Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you part two of how to make trivia crack with Swift and Xcode. Now the second part is going to be focusing on randomizing the objects that you have, the questions and answers. So let's go ahead and get started. Continuing on from our last tutorial, let's go ahead and open up cracktrivia.xcode project and we're going to be adding something that actually uh, grabs random questions from questions and answers from parse.com and place that inside of our app application. So one thing you'll notice it says query dot get get object in background with ID. So this ID right here is what we're trying to change. We're going to change the object ID to something random. Now I was hoping I could find a better solution to this, but for some reason I couldn't find any on the internet. If you guys know about a better solution of actually have grabbing straight from the app the object IDs and then placing that inside of an array. I've been looking everywhere to f try and find that, but right now we're going to have to manually put those object IDs into an array. And the reason I don't like this is because you would have to update this application anytime you needed to add more questions or answers. I will continue searching for this an the, qu the answer to this, but at the moment we're just going to do this manually and we'll change it later on if I find an answer. Alright, so let's open up Safari or Google Chrome or whatever you use as a web browser and we're going to parse.com. Now that parse.com has loaded up, just go over here into the top right corner and you will find your username. And you want to click on the application that we are using, it is Crack Trivia. And then right up here you want to click on the core. So we're going to edit the the data that's actually inside of our application. So go over to here to your questions and answers uh, tab inside of uh, the data and we want to create a new row. And in this new row we're going to create another question and an answer. And we'll just say uh, the question is what is my name? Question mark. And then after that we want the answers. We can have we need to add brackets around it and then just like we did below, we're going to have four questions, I mean four answers. And we'll just put random answers inside of our four uh, array that we have. So we're going to put the first one as my name, Jared. Then we'll do Josh, uh, Brittany, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and lastly, Jamal. That works. And then our answer will be uh, Jared. Or actually, it will be number one, because, or sorry, it'll be number zero, because if you can remember, it goes zero, one, two, three. I didn't remember. All right, so now we have this answer. It is zero. And now we were, if we wanted to make this random, we would have to actually take this object ID and now we're actually going to go into our Crack Trivia project and make a function that uh, grabs a random object out of our array that we have. So right up here, the first thing we need to do is create a variable. And we're going to say var, this will be our object IDs, object IDs, like so. And then go colon and open bracket, close bracket, and this will be a string inside of that like so, and then open parentheses, close parentheses. Or actually no, no open quotes. It needs to be an exclamation point because we're instant, we're making this real. So now we have object IDs and we wanna add object IDs inside of that. But before we do that, we need to also create a variable and this will be our random object or we'll say random ID variable. And we'll make it uh, equal, sorry, we'll make this an integer, like so. Or, sorry, we, we will just make this equal to zero. When it loads up, it's going to be equal to zero, and then we change that later on when we call a function. So right down here, we're going to say func, and this will be get random, get random object ID. So this is the function that is going to be called when we want to get a random object ID. And inside of this, we just want to have 
our object IDs stored inside of this. So we want to say object IDs is equal to open bracket, close bracket, open quotation mark, close quotation mark. And inside of these quotation marks, we're going to add our object ID. So right over here, just go ahead and copy and paste this object ID that we have right here. Copy or command C and then paste that right inside of this array. And then right after that, object ID we just put in here, we need to add a comma and then another quotation mark, open quotation mark for our next object ID. Now remember, this is manually done. I wish I could show you guys a better way of doing this just by grabbing a random object ID uh, programmatically via the application. So you can actually just add a new row and it'll really, all the work will be done for you. But if you guys have an answer for that, just leave that down in the comment section down below or email me. It would help out a bunch. I've been trying to find this out for a week. So for weeks, actually. So now we're going to actually grab an object ID according to this random ID number. So we need to say random ID is equal to, and this will be int open quotation mark, open bracket, sorry, open parentheses, and this is going to be arc for random underscore uniform, and then UI int 32, and this will be our object ID. So say object IDs dot count. And actually this is a bit wrong. We need to actually say UI, UI NT 32, so it's u int 32. So basically, what this is doing is it's making a 32 bit integer out of these object IDs that we can actually use in grabbing our random object ID. So that's what we're doing. So int arc for random underscore uniform at ui in 32, and then right after that, we need to add one more parentheses for that. So now, if that all works, everything should be colored up. And now we actually need to grab that random object ID, or we can just do that right here. So we can say, I get random object ID, and this will be inside of your call data. So we're getting the random object ID anytime we call this data. And then we're going to say query.get in background with ID, and this will be random, or sorry, this will be object IDs, open bracket, close bracket, and this will be, since, in an, since this is an array, any number that we put inside of here, it'll grab that number inside of this array. So this should actually be object IDs and random ID. So we're grabbing a certain number. So it counts, it counts the amount of objects that are inside of this number. It grabs that random, it grabs a random number from that, and then we plug that inside of our uh, get in background with ID. So now we're grabbing a random number. So this can either be a zero or a one at the moment. So it's going to be randomly a zero or one and grab that number and put it inside of our application. So now let's build and run this. And if we have any uh, errors, let's, oh yeah. And this should be get random object ID, open parentheses, close parentheses. All right, now let's build and run and see if we have any errors. So say stop. All right. Now, what is my name? Okay, so I'm just going to click Jared. Now let's go to our command prompt right down here, and we should get an NS log that says you are correct. Now, if I were to click any of the other ones, Brittany or whatever, it says wrong. So now that's showing you that we're grabbing a random object ID. Now, if we wanted a different question, the problem is we would have to build and run over and over again, which we don't want to do. So let's switch it up and we're going to go into our view controller swift and now anytime we click a button we also want to call call our data so just say to just copy and paste this call data function right here and put that inside of if the answer is correct we want to call data or if the answer is correct for button 2 we want to call data again and lastly, call data. 
Now keep in mind, we only have two objects in here, so you're going to get a lot of repeats. Once you get more, more and more objects inside of this application, you're going to get better uh, frequency or non-frequency of your questions and answers. So now we have, what does a fox say? You go high squealing sound. And right here, up here in the corner, you can actually see that it's calling the function and it's grabbing data from the internet. So if I were to click Jared, it's correct, so watch up here in the corner and you should see a spinning circle. And as you can see, it's grabbing that random object. So let's add another question just for good, good charm. I don't really know what that is. And go to our question and we're going to add this question and we'll just say, what is the average weight of an American swallow? anyone has seen the movie good job all right now let's say the answers will just go again open bracket close bracket we're going to add these answers so we want to make sure that we have four or else our app will not run properly so we'll just have a few answers 16 13 19 and I don't no, that. And of course, the correct answer is going to be I don't know, because I really don't know the correct answer for that. So now we have this answer, and this is, remember, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So there you have it. So let's go ahead, build and run. And now you should see inside of this, uh, it's going to have what is my name, Jared, and now, oh wait, we actually forgot to add this object ID. See, this is why I wanted to actually grab our object ID programmically. I really want to find out how, how to do that. So now that we do that, we just copy and paste that object ID inside of our get object IDs random, like so, and now build and run, and now we should get a random count number and now we should get that question popping up. So there you have it. Now we click on I don't know that and it clicks on that correctly. High squealing sound. And again remember it's you don't have very many questions so you're going to get a lot of repeats. And now if I were to click on any of these other ones you will see that it says wrong in the command prompt. So I hope that guy that helped you out so far. Uh, part 3 will be coming soon and we will be discuss discussing more on scoring and other things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to... <laughs> That's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye! tutorials like this from me in the future be sure to subscribe if you love my glide cam work and the way i do things be sure to subscribe as well I'll see you guys later bye